want to know what is it that gets you excited about working here? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, for me, I think the thing that I love about it are the people. So the people who come here, but when they have those aha moments or when they kind of think like, oh, I thought that life had to be this one way and then they come here and whether it's like more work-life balance or work, connecting with people who they wouldn't normally connect with. For me, like having, seeing people come in one way and then leave a different way, I'm like, okay, something's going right. There is the seeing the people having that experience, yeah. but how does that affect you? I feel like I've lived three months in one week. <laughs> yeah, just because so many different things happen all yeah. the time. And so for me, that's really impactful because in the past, year and a half I've grown as a person more than I have like for the past four or five years before mm. that just because when you constantly have new stimuli new ideas new people new challenges new situations that you haven't been in before it really kind of like makes you stop and think and reflect a ton sure. and grow whether you want to or not I'm so excited to share with you guys my interview with Sienna, who hosts the community here at Sun & Co. I met Sienna when we first got to Sun & Co, but I feel like I've already known her forever. She's super down to earth and she really cares about the community here and you can see it in the way that she hosts the space. Sienna also owns her own company, which empowers women of color to travel abroad. I think it's amazing and I can't wait to share more about it with you. So let's dive right into the episode where we'll cover what she thinks co-living is and how she thinks it supports remote workers. So let's go. Before we get started, we just want to give a shout out to Office R&D, who is our sponsor on today's episode. They are a co-working management software company that helps workspaces around the world deliver better experiences to their customers. They share our values of promoting and championing remote work, and they've been our biggest supporters since day one. Okay, so let's continue. So one thing I want to say to everyone is I met you here through Sun & Co, the co-living space that we're staying at here in Spain. But we last night we, were, we had dinner together and we were talking about first impressions that we had of each other. And both of us said that we were surprised. Yeah, it's <laughs> when, so we, true. when we met each other. So what was it for you? Why were you surprised? Yeah, so for me it was really funny because like I had this idea of Brittany just like being very like Burning Man. <laughs> And then we met and we had a conversation and I was like, she's super grounded, you're super down to earth. And I was like really, really here for it. And we connected like immediately, which was amazing. Yeah, I love that. And same for you. I think I was just surprised that you were here because yeah. I'm like, wait, where are you from? One, the fact that you're American. Mm -hmm. And two, you're from New York. And yeah. I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? Why yeah, are you yeah, here? Yeah, What's what going you, on? What's yeah. happening? And then um, the more we got to know each other, we we're just like, we are pretty much the same. Yes, person. actually. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a thing. Yeah. Um, but I would love to share with people just more about you and you being here at this co living space. But just to give everyone some context, like, again, where are you from? Yeah, for How sure. did you get here? Yeah, for sure. So I'm originally from New York. I grew up in Brooklyn and upstate New York. Mm -hmm. And then five, well, seven years ago, I lived in Madrid for a little bit. And then five years ago, I moved back to Spain, but in, like to stay long term. And so... I was here for three years teaching English and starting my own business, which we'll probably talk about later. And then a year and a half ago, I moved to Javier. So I moved to Javier to join the Sun & Co team and I do marketing and business development for them. And it's amazing because it's just like a quality of life and a setup that you really can't yeah, for sure. compare. Yeah. I saw her apartment last night. Oh, uh, yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a little messy. No, no, it's so good. Yeah. Like you have like some, the lady that owns it. Is an, uh, what was it? Yeah, she's an architectural designer. So like there's spiral staircases and it's super, it's really beautiful. It's gorgeous. And it's two bedrooms. I'm yeah. like, what are you doing with this room? What are you doing with your life? No, it's really good. It's really good. Um, okay. So one thing that I'd love to talk about is, you know, when people write the thank you cards for Sun and & Co and come mm -hmm. here and have these amazing experiences there's this thing of like we don't as community builders we don't want it to be about us but mm -hmm. a lot of times when people remember the spaces or the environment it's, it is at least it starts with you and John yeah. like you guys like setting the tone so how do you feel about that like do you want to be it so that it's self-containing or like how do you feel about your role in all of it I guess? yeah I think it's super interesting because that's something that as a team we think about a lot like what would this space be like if we weren't necessarily as integrated in it? Or like, what would this space be like if we just kind of managed on its own? And I think that 
Also, I think it's interesting because before I started working at Sun & Co, I actually came to Sun & Co. Mm -hmm. And a large part of the reason why I came back is getting to know John and getting to know Edu and kind of having that feel of like, ah, this is a place that I would want to come back to. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting when I kind of like flipped the switch and then I became one of those pivotal people. Um, I think it's really great. But for like, on the other hand, I also think it's interesting because we're kind of like the middle line. But every time someone comes back, they have different experiences. So for me... I think the most important part is like have letting people know that like every experience will be different, mm-hmm. even though John and I might kind of be here. But I also think it's important for them to kind of like think of the experience as a whole versus like having it be John, Sienna and Sun and Co. Because then what happens if someone comes and one of us is on vacation or one of us isn't here and we don't want that to kind of like taint their experience in a different way. Sure. But it's tricky because you have to kind of like juggle like how involved are you? How much do you kind of want people to have an experience without you guys, which is I think... Part of the reason why it's really cool that in all of the events, they're led by people in the community versus led by us. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like we were like an added value instead of like the main reason why. Yeah. And I think that's such a, also it's super exhausting. If you guys are the ones like leaning every single yeah. thing all the time, I don't think that's actually sustainable. Yeah. And then we also don't have time to work if we do that. Yeah. Long, yeah. You know? <laughs> like, it's, it's like, like yeah, yeah, like, yeah, we can, we're here to have all the coffees in the world, but like we actually have to do stuff as well. So like having that balance is super important too that's cool i really like that well you definitely are in my opinion like the vibe of the space mm. i know a lot of people have said that they've come back because they met you and mm. um john even was saying like that you were like reinvigorated the space mm. when you when you started working here so all of those things are amazing mm, yes. i want to know what is it that gets you excited about working here oh that's a great question and i think for me that's super interesting because like I have my own business as well and kind of like we were talking about this last night but like my business used to be the end goal and I was like cool I'll do that full time it'll be great but then when I started working here I was like oh I can envision my life doing both of these things full time um for me I think the thing that I love about it are the people so the people who come here but when they have those aha moments or when they kind of think like oh I thought that life had to be this one way and then they come here and whether it's like more work-life balance or working less because they want to be in Javier more or connecting with people who they wouldn't normally connect with for me like having seeing people come in one way and then leave a different way I'm like okay something's going right and I also love like I think that there's so much potential with Sun and Co and I think that I'm really grateful to be a part of the team especially during the time that we came in Mm -hmm. so as it continues to grow and as it kind of continues continues to scale in whatever way that is it's like we'll kind of be part of the founding people who like were able to make that happen Mm -hmm. and I love that feeling yeah that's powerful one question I'm going to yeah. ask you, I know you're not going to like this question, is when we were talking about this last night, like, um, there is the, there is the seeing the people having that experience, yeah. but how does that affect you? Because you were telling me, just, you don't have to, like, go super deep into it, but just seeing people have that, but also how they affect us again, you know, like, we are also experiencing it with them. Yeah. So is there times where there's, you feel growth within yourself, I guess? What? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, no, no. I don't understand it. No, yeah, literally, like 120%, especially because I think the people who come here are so unique in their own ways and they all have their own skill sets. And so just kind of like, it's funny because I talked to my best friend about this. My best friend does admin in an English academy and her days are very much Mm -hmm. the same. And so it's so funny because when I talk to her about my weeks, I feel like I've lived three months in one week. (laughs) Yeah, just because so many different things happen all the time. And so for me, that's really impactful because in the past, year and a half I've grown as a person more than I have like for the past four or five years before Mm -hmm. that just because when you constantly have new stimuli new ideas new people new challenges new situations that you haven't been in before it really kind of like makes you stop and think and reflect a ton and grow whether you want to or not yeah yeah and is that what you would consider as co-living like like I know I feel like the question what is co-living but like in your opinion what what is it for you yeah yeah I think for me, the biggest thing that co-living is, is, hmm, that's a really good question. Because I feel like co-living by the book is like, oh, when you live in a house together, but it's like, no, we're not like, it's not just like if you have college roommates, you're not co-living. But I think it's like intentionally putting yourself in situations with people who you wouldn't normally be with and being open to kind of like learning and growing together. Mm. In my world, like that's what co-living is because it's like not only just coming and staying and sharing a room with someone, but like being open to meeting new people and like actually being intentional about like 
you're completely different from a completely different company, company, <laughs> country, company, yeah, background, okay. all of it. But like, I'm here and like, let's see how we can learn from each other. Because that's where the growth happens, I think. That's, no, I completely agree yeah. with that. Again, we're the same person. So yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, she when we were at dinner, we were talking and you're just like, mm-hmm, everything yep, that you're everything, saying. Everything. Yep. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, so um, tell me about what you actually do. So this is another thing I feel like we really vibe on. So what is your your business? Yeah, for sure. So outside of Sun & Co., I run a platform and community for women of color who want to move abroad and build a life that they love. And so it kind of started because a lot of the representation of like what expats looked like or what digital nomads or remote workers looked like was very white and very male. white people. Yeah, Yeah. and like super male. So you have like... All of these women of color who want to do it, but they don't know of anyone else like them who's mm-hmm. done it before. So they're just like, oh, it's not for me. Mm-hmm. And so they were creating all these barriers. And so I was like, OK, let's start sharing stories of women who are already doing it. That evolved, that kind of blew up. And then it kind of shifted to being like, instead of just sharing stories, how do we teach and empower women to do it for themselves? Mm-hmm. Which is where we are now. So like we have retreats, we have events, we've hosted conferences before. We are getting ready to launch another online course. We do a lot of webinars and just kind of like teaching people and showing them kind of the roadmap of what they need to be able to do it. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I love that so much. I'm like, <laughs> can, I, can, we, can I be your best friend? Can we do this? Dirty, dirty okay. Happens. <laughs> okay. Okay. So is there anything that you would say to someone who is thinking of like starting to travel and work remotely or maybe you're like... I'm thinking of trying coveting. I'm mm. like, should I do it? Is there anything you would say to those people? Yeah, for sure. Um, something that I would say is that like it's really easy to move through life with fear or like fear of the unknown or fear of uncertainty or whatever that is. But when you take a chance and just if it's something that it's been on your mind for a long time, try it. The worst thing that can happen is that if you don't like it, then you go back to your like your normal life, you know? And I think that people think that to try co-living or to try remote work or whatever has to be this huge life-changing decision. And a lot of times it's just like one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. See if you like it. If you do, awesome. Then keep going and kind of like adapt that way. But I think a lot of times people don't do it because of fear. And I wish that they either felt more supported or more secure to kind of feel like, okay, you can do it. You can have community. You can have resources. And like there are things available to you. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) And there's so many people that are also... Like, just, they're not necessarily on the road all the time. Yeah. They're, like, maybe back home, and then they come here, and then they go back home. Like, yeah. it doesn't have to be 100% one or the other, right? Yeah, and I love I love that because I think that, so, like, in society, digital nomad is super trending, which is cool, which is awesome. But, like, it's this concept of, like, oh, if I have to do it, I have to be hopping from country to country every week. And, like, number one, that's not sustainable. <laughs> number so two, exhausting. Yeah, <laughs> like, and, like, if especially if you're trying to work, as well as do that, as well as travel, as well as plan things out, as well as make relationships. You can't, like, you physically and humanly can't. So I think it's super important, like, that for me, that difference between that is, like, being a digital nomad versus being location independent, Mm. which is something that I love because it means you can live anywhere you want to. If you want to go away for a week and do work from there, then you can. But, like, you don't have to have the necessity of feeling like you always have to be on the road. Yeah, that's cool. I think Mm. that's going to be really powerful, and I... I just love you. Like, can I oh, not? Like, can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> thank you for yeah. yeah. Thank you for letting me interview. Thank you for letting us stay here and just being so supportive of our yeah, whole thing. And thank you guys for like doing this honestly because I think that it's gonna be really cool to see both of your guys' point of views of not only just like the spaces and interviewing the people in it, but just kind of like having and making those connections all over and then just like bringing them all together and making yeah. magic. Because one thing, I, I was talking to one of the members today, and I was telling her, like, all the other spaces we're going to. And she's mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm going to watch your video and decide if I'm going to go there. And exactly. I was like, yes, that is why yeah. we're doing this. Because I want people to see this and yeah. be like, I'm coming to Sun & Co. Yeah. So that I want to go see those people or see what it's like there. And it's also amazing because, like, I think that you're such a good nucleus in regards to, like, community, co-livings, and also just, like, being able to travel and work as well, where, like, it's going to have a lot bigger impact than you probably think it's going to. You know what I mean? Like, it will. It will. Right. It will. <laughs> You might not see it yet, but it's going to be. Right now, I just feel like a crazy it. person. Like, uh, we're doing this. <laughs> but it, it, like, I think that it's always a feeling of, like, when you're doing it, you're just, like, kind of going blindly. But then when it comes time to sit down and, like, the first one goes live and you're, like, 
people are reacting to this. They're like, this is going on. I think it's going to be really amazing. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here at the beginning yeah, of it. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having me be a part of it. <laughs> well, you are a power woman who oh. I know has to go do a webinar right now. So about remote work. So. About remote work. So we're going to let you go. Thanks. And thank you so much for everything. Thank you for having me. Thanks, guys. It was a nice meeting. What a nice meeting. <laughs> It's yeah. nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet you in the future yeah, when right? I come here, right? Yeah. There you go. I love talking to Sienna about all things community and co-living and remote working. One thing I really learned about our conversation is how putting yourself into a co-living space is really like putting yourself in an accelerator program, both personally and professionally. You're really putting yourself out there to connect with people and learn new skills. I think this would be amazing if all companies allowed their workers to go work from a co-living space, even for a week or two weeks out of the year, to help them see new things, meet new people, and learn new skills. So I hope all of you guys liked the episode. Hit like at the bottom of the screen, subscribe to our channel, and we cannot wait to see you next time. Bye guys.